Hey everyone, this is Brett Williams from Modern Living Oregon. I hope you guys are having a great day and you're ready to watch a new video that will hopefully give you guys a ton of value in terms of uh, looking to move or relocate into Bend. Today we are talking all about new construction. Um, a few of these developments have already been built. A few of them are coming in the next six months um, to a year and we're going to go through a lot of different options, what to expect in terms of home sizes, um, location, community, what it has to offer all the things you should know before making your move and looking at new developments in Bend, Oregon. So stay tuned. Real quickly before we get into the meat of this video, if you don't know who I am, my name is Brett Williams. I run this channel, Modern Living Oregon, and I specialize in helping buyers move into Central Oregon. Whether that's Bend, Redmond, Lapine, Terrebonne, it doesn't matter. Um, if you're looking to buy, sell, invest, I help you guys really just make that transition smoother. I've been helping a lot of clients, and if you've had any thoughts of moving, relocating, um, really anything within the Central Oregon area, it doesn't have to be real estate specific, Call, text, email, anytime, days, nights, weeks, weekends, does not matter. I just want to be your main source of information when thinking about moving into Bend, Oregon. So without further ado, let's jump into this video and we're going to roll into our number one development, Big Sky Village. All right, so the first development we're going to talk about today is Big Sky Village. Um, the builder of these homes is DR Horton, which is a popular builder throughout the state of Oregon. Um, they're in the Portland area, the Hillsboro, Beaverton. Um, kind of suburb area of Portland and now they're really popular in Central Oregon with uh, a few developments in Redmond and Lapine. So this particular development, Big Sky Village, is in Southeast Bend and you're about a two minute drive from Highway 20. You're right off of 27th. You go straight down, turn left, and you are headed towards downtown Bend, 3rd Street, and all of the central action within Bend. So in terms of location, you're in a great spot. Um, you're close to the hospital, you're close to a lot of shopping, Costco, Whole Foods, all of that. So it's super popular with families and with those looking for quick access to some of the shopping and if you work at the hospital, especially it's super popular on this side of town. So this development has a, a pretty good range of pricing, but all of the homes are currently sold out. Uh, there are a few in the neighborhood that are actually for sale right now just through the retail market they're not necessarily new builds even though they were built about a year ago now um, this particular development though is good just to show you kind of what your price gets in bend and get familiar with what new builds look like both aesthetically in terms of build quality um, and everything you're probably looking for in a new build the pricing really ranges from 385,000 to 430,000. Um, so this is a great starter homes great starter neighborhood with a lot of families um, and it's really quiet on this side of town. You have quick access to 27th and Highway 20 like I was talking about. And what's really cool is this is one of those builders that does the single level ranch style home still as well as the two story more traditional new build style that we're seeing in Oregon right now. Um, so the square footage really ranges from about 1400 to 2200 square foot um, plus or minus a few square foot here and there but the build quality of DR Horton is really good. Um, I'm going to show some pictures right here of some of the plans, both interior and out, uh, exterior, and overall at this particular neighborhood. So if you're looking for one of those areas in Bend that's going to be your more of your starter home, maybe you have a family, or you want to get onto just the traditional MLS, you want to find something that is um, maybe lived in for a year or two, it's not necessarily something that's been around for 50 or 60 years, and you don't want the headache of having to redo or remodel a home. This area and this particular development is a really good option at this point in uh, spring 2021 and prices are still pretty competitive compared to the rest of Bend. So on top of the homes being awesome, the neighborhood being super quiet, you're also next to Pettigrew Park, which is a super small but awesome little park if you have kiddos in the neighborhood. Um, if you have dogs, you can go walk them there. There's always people over there. And on top of that, you're close to Pilot Butte, so you can walk over there. Um, it's a really popular spot for uh, both having just the hikeability and then also once the roads open up you can drive and see all of Bend and you're only about two minutes away from that so if you're big into those things that may be a really good option to start to look into like I said most of those um, 
lots in Big Sky Village are now sold out, but there are a few on that are on the market um, after being only lived in for about a year now. All right, so the next development we're gonna talk about is also built by D. Horton, just like Big Sky was. Um, and this particular community is called Stone Creek. So Stone Creek is similar to Big Sky in terms of all of the homes that were built have already been sold um, or they're currently pending, but we already are seeing people move out of the area um, and they're putting some of their homes that have only been lived in for about a year for sale right now. I particularly love this development due to its location and some of the amenities that are included in it. So for framework, it's right next to Southeast Reeds Crossing, which is an awesome road if you're looking to commute into the central bend area. So it takes you to Third Street, if you keep going straight on it, it takes you to the Old Mill District, downtown, and the rest of Bend. So in terms of location, you're a little bit closer to the action than maybe Big Sky. And the homes are really competitively priced for being three, four bedroom houses, 1,800 to 2,200 square feet. Most of them are two story, I believe they're all two story. Um, but just driving through and showing you guys the tour, I noticed there are quite a few families out and about. It seems like the community is overall very active. On top of that, you also are close to Stone Creek Park, which actually has a little bit of a bike course in it. So if you have kiddos, you can go t take them on some structures and that's fun. Um, there's a swing set down there and then there's also some walking paths that will take you around. Um, and you're, no, you're close to the junipers and some of the cool central organ features. So I thought that was really cool just going through there. Um, you don't see that in many new development areas across the country, let alone Bend. so that was pretty cool. So if you were to live in the Stone Creek development and you have young kids from the, in the K-5 to age range, you would actually have quick access to Silver Rail Elementary, which is honestly about a one minute walk from your house. Um, you could drive them there, but that would take about 10 seconds. So if you're looking for an area that's quiet, it's super safe, and everything is compact, you can pretty much kind of stay within your bubble in a five or 10 minute drive. This could be one of your favorite communities. And the prices are still very competitive for the rest of Bend, especially as you're getting into a new construction. Um, obviously they're probably lived in for about a year now, but you can still find really good deals on them. So that's a little bit about Stone Creek, uh, also by DR Ford. All right, so veering away from the southeast side of town, we are headed north up into the northeast side, and we're gonna be looking at the Petrosha development by Polish Homes. Um, so if you're new to the area or if you haven't heard of Polish, they're definitely one of the top builders in the state of Oregon. They're also in Arizona, um, and honestly, they're definitely one of my favorite builders. I know a few of the agents, as well as just some of the employees, and they're awesome to work with, and it's a great family overall. Um, it's definitely one of the builders that I trust the most in the Bend area. Um, this particular development, Petrosha, is really nice. It's going to have some really nice sized homes. It's going to have some townhome options, some cottage style homes. Uh, so it's got a lot of variety. It's a big area. And overall, I definitely think if you have a family or you're looking for a new build that's going to be really high end um, and a really good community, Petrosha is definitely something you want to look at. So unlike the other two I have already been talking about, Big Sky and Stone Creek, Petrosha is still currently being worked down. So they broke ground a few months ago, and from what I've heard from Polish, they're looking to be done around summer 2022. So let's say you're currently just shopping and you're looking at Bend, maybe you wanna move here for a first or second home, and you wanna buy a new construction home, but you're not ready to buy right now, or you just wanna give yourself some time to look and go through your options, Petrosha may be one of your best bets. Um, they're gonna have everything from three bedroom homes to five bedroom homes and huge square footage. So this is gonna be a really popular spot. I know they're already having uh, some good interest and they have a few lots that are starting to be worked on already. So they're really moving on that one. Um, I haven't heard a lot about pricing right now, just with lumber and different build materials fluctuating so much, they're probably gonna wait till they get closer to release of the homes to kind of disclose pricing. But I just wanna give you guys um, a first look or a sneak peek at kind of what's to come. The, uh, you're gonna see some shots already, and I think this is definitely one of the more promising developments we're seeing right now in Bend. I already know they will have a clubhouse as well as a swimming pool that is all accessible in the community if you live there. Um, and your HOA amenities I've heard are gonna be great as well. So all around, this is definitely gonna be one of the higher end communities that we were looking at. I think prices will end up being a little over that that five or 600 range, um, if I had to guess, maybe higher. Another added benefit of getting into a new build before they're built is if you place a reservation, 
um, and you go pending on a home or under contract, you can have some per, add some personalization to the touches of the home. So um, whether that's paint or different finishes, every builder has different options. Um, but I know I was reading they're gonna have quartz countertops, tile backsplash, full stainless steel appliance packages, and really anything Polish makes, uh, they do a really good job with. So that's definitely a builder that I think you guys should look into more. If you have any questions, just feel free and I can kind of give you some options uh, and maybe some more info on particular builds and just kind of the layouts. This next community is gonna be for those of you that are looking for a luxury property. Maybe you wanna be in the northwest side of town next to Northwest Crossing, Aubrey Glen, um, Aubrey View, all of those different areas. This development, which is called Treeline, is gonna be um, definitely something you're gonna wanna look out for. So Treeline is also being built by Polish, like I said, and similar to Petrosha, it's gonna have the townhomes, it's gonna have cottages, and it's gonna have single family homes. Um, so it's another pretty awesome development. It's gonna have 63 lots total, um, and you're gonna be in a really good location. You're close to uh, Shevlin Park, you're close to Mount Batra, which is only 25 minutes away, and you're close to the Old Mill downtown box factory you're, you're in the hot spot of Bend in that northwest section. So if you're looking for luxury development, this is gonna be one of the top spots to look at right now. Um, square footage is ranging from around 1,800 to 3,000 square feet. Um, and right now it's looking like this is gonna be one of the hottest developments. And right now it's slated to be done around fall of 2021. So if you're in the position right now where um, it's spring right now, you're looking at options within Bend, you want something that's new development, whether that is a townhome, a cottage style home, or a single family home, Treeline may be one of your best options. Pricing has not been released yet, but I expect they'll probably release that in the next coming months. But I really do think this is a promising area. I know this neighborhood, um, This is gonna, these, these lots are probably gonna go really quickly. So if you wanna get some inside details on them or you wanna hear more, feel free to hit me up. All my contact info is right here and I'll make sure you guys get to hear more as well as probably get some information packets from some of the connections I know within Polish. Uh, but yeah, I think this is definitely one to keep an eye out, maybe save it on your computer and just kind of update it every one or two weeks just to uh, check in on any updates and see what's kind of coming available. So those four developments are awesome and I think Ben has a lot of promising building going on right now. But I want to just make a video on those four because two of them already been done obviously, but it gives you a good look at pricing and what you can get. And the other two are one and two years away really. And that's going to conclude this video. Um, you can reach out to me anytime, uh, call, text, email, does not matter, I'm helping people move and relocate all over the country into Central Oregon. So I look forward to hearing from you guys and have a good one.